Academy for District Tournament Competition in the 2016 FHSAA Class 4A Girls Volleyball Championship. This is the District Championship Match Class 4A District 2. The FHSAA reminds you that interscholastic events are an extension of the classroom and that lessons are best learned when proper respect is afforded to all. Please let your good sportsmanship show as you watch tonight's match. This is a district championship contest between the number two seed, Trinity Christian Academy Conquerors, and the number one seed, Providence Stallion. Before we begin the action tonight, I'd like to ask everyone to please stand for prayer and our national anthem. Lord Father, we just ask you to bless these young ladies on the court. We thank you for the talent you bestowed upon them. We pray, Lord, that you will keep them safe, free from all injuries, Lord. We ask that every girl on that court glorifies you and her actions tonight. And all of us here watching have glorious words and actions and deeds. We ask you to bless the stallions as they travel home this evening, Father. Keep their bus safe. And Father, help us remember, most of all, this is all about you, our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Kelly. Number 13, Cookie Davis. 
Thank our head coaches, first for the Conquerors, in her third year with the team, please welcome Miss Crystal Lawrence. And for the Stallions in his third year, please welcome Mr. John Pennington. And the officials for tonight's championship match from the Northeast Volleyball Association right here in Jacksonville. Referee number one, Mr. J.R. Lovett. Referee number two, Miss Sarah Ellis. Linesman number one, Mr. Ray Reitner. And linesman number two, Mr. Buddy Strickland. And we are getting ready for game number one here in this Class 4A District 2 championship matchup between the Trinity Christian Academy Conquerors, the number two seed, and the top seeded Stallions of the Providence School, both teams from Jacksonville, Florida. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raymond Bureau, Dean Bureau, working the camera this evening. We are recorded here on TCA Athletics YouTube channel and we are thrilled to bring you this championship match on recording this evening. The officials are checking the starting lineups. Let's recap how we got to this match tonight. Tuesday night, the Providence Stallions defeated St. Joseph Academy three wins to none in the semifinal round after they received the first round bye as the number one seed. Trinity Christian Academy, the number two seed, also had a first round bye. They defeated University Christian three games to one. And we are now underway as Jennifer Torres Perez got us started. And a good play by the Stallions to keep that ball alive. Once again, good defense on the Providence side of the net. This place is already rocking. It's an over-capacity crowd. Both sides of the bleachers and the stage just full of fans from both schools. Torres Perez saved it up. And that hit is just a little bit too strong, so point number two goes to the Conquerors. Jennifer Torres Perez, one of five seniors in this Conquerors team. She comes into tonight's match with 86 aces from the server's line. And that one is a little too strong. And that is the first point for the Stallions. And starting off for the Stallions at the line is number nine, the team captain, Kemra Kelly. Good hard serve by Kelly to get it started. And Hannah Cooper's shot is right on the line. The and after a little bit of discussion, that call has been reversed and the point goes to the Stallions. So that ties the game at two. Camera Kelly at the line. 38 aces coming into tonight's match and the officials are going to discuss that last play to make sure they got the call correct. And the second call is what stands. A point for the Stallions and the serve and we are tied at two. There's the serve from Cameron Kelly. It is out of bounds, and 
Conquerors regain the lead three to two. This place is rocking. Trinity Christian defeated another big rival in Jacksonville, University Christian. It took four games. Give you those scores in just a moment as Michaela Witten serves it up for the Conquerors. Number one, Perez, 111 kills coming into tonight's match. And these numbers we'll bring you tonight are courtesy of MaxPreps.com, and we thank coaches of both teams for keeping us updated as they upload those stats to Max Preps. And now serving, Bella Biro, a senior by the name of Kristen Kesselman. And we are tied at three. The Conquerors are the number two seed. Providence is number one. So even though we are in our own home gymnasium, we are the guest on the scoreboard this evening, being the lower seed of the two. Kristen Castleman with the serve. And a good one off of Denver. So the Providence Stallions lead by two, five to three with Kristen Castleman still at the line. Oh, that is into the net, so Conquerors pull back to within one. Heading to the line now, senior number 10, Crystal Carr. And a good serve by Carr, but well played and knocked out of the way. Anila Davis with that point for the Stallions, and they lead by two once again, six to four, as Courtney Kerwin checks in and heads to the line. She is also a senior. Stallions have six seniors on their roster, and we'll let you know who they are if we get an opportunity a little bit later. Good smack by Hannah Cooper, but right out of Stallion, and ball still in play. Kelly with the kill. And Kelly, 275 kills coming into tonight's action. And remember, that came in 26 matches. Three point lead now for Providence. Kerwin back at the line. And touchdown, Denver Ramirez, Megan Oliver on the play. Conquerors lost game one Tuesday night, 27 to 25, but then won three straight by the scores of 25, 16, 21, and 19 to advance to this championship round. Good hit, but well played by Kelly. Sent back over. Eighth grader, Jane Deleuze Mills making a terrific play. And that'll be a four to the Hey, I thought that was hit number four, but it was number three. So, so far, our longest point, and we have a whistle with a player in the net for the Conquerors. So, another three point lead for Providence. Eight to five here early in game one. Three out of five. Both teams advance to the regionals, but the winner will be district champions and should get a home game during the regional playoffs. Number one, Sidney Perez, a sophomore, serving for Providence, and it is out of bounds. So the Conquerors are now within two. As a substitution, Meadows checks out, and it looks like Michaela Witten heads back to the court. And senior Hannah Cooper is at the serving line for Trinity Christian Academy. Good job by the Stallions, keeping that ball going. That was Castleman making that diving save. Ramirez is there and ready for the spike to come. Cooper is into the net. So another point for the Stallions. Their lead is back up to three. So far, been the biggest lead for either team. And heading to the line for Providence, number eight, sophomore Anila Davis. Of course, we hope we're pronouncing these names correctly. We want to apologize to players and their fans if we do mispronounce a name. 
Walker, the only attention of the first ten. Another point for the Stallions, who now lead by four, ten to six. Amila Davis serving once again. She had 22 aces coming into tonight's match. And a good diving play by Curran. So the Conquerors make it a 10-7 ball game and Jangalese Ramirez heads to the line. We've said this many times throughout the season. This is an eighth grader on the varsity team and she is the libero. So a load of talent in this young lady. Here's Ramirez with the serve. And a good job by the Stallions. Uh, had a tough time with the serve, but kept it in play long enough to get the point, and they're back up by four. Number 14, Chloe Statkiss, one of the six seniors. Christine DeToni, Kristen Castleman, Courtney Kerwin, Allie Mills, Chloe Statkiss, and Delaney Marks are the seniors on this Providence roster. And that serve is out of bounds, so it goes back to the Conquerors. And we had our own senior night. Providence has had its senior night. We want to congratulate all seniors on the court. We mentioned the six for the Stallions, five on the Trinity roster. We'll let you know who they are until we get the next opportunity. Yeah, it's good. So the Conquerors now back to within two. And those Conqueror seniors, Tony Cooper, Jennifer Torres Perez, Whitney Williams, Crystal Carr, and Savannah Strayer are the five seniors on this Conqueror's roster. And here's a serve from Jennifer Torres Perez. Torres Perez, the leader of the Conqueror's and Aces, and a good job by Torres Perez. Getting that ball just before it hits the floor. And that shot is down the first the So the Stallions lead by three, 12 to nine. And back at the line is Cameron Kelly. Ace for Kelly. You mentioned she had 38 before tonight's match began. Picked up a couple already. Put her at 40 for the season. Stallions now lead 13 to 9. Gonna be an exciting night here at Trinity Christian Academy. So pull up a chair and join us and enjoy this district matchup. Kelly serve, but just a bit too strong. So the Conquerors will regain control. Trade them by three. 13 to 10 as a substitution. Malia Meadows, a junior conqueror, checks in and heads to the line. And Michaela Witten will have a seat. Ramirez there to defend the kill. Here's Cooper. With a shot and a for the conqueror. Well, that wasn't a kill, but it was just as, as effective. We mentioned Cameron. Kelly with 275 kills. Hannah Cooper for the Conquerors leads them with 250. Check that, read the wrong column. That's 19 blocks coming into tonight's play for Crystal Carr. Megan Oliver, though, the team leader, that is her specialty. Well played on defense by the Conquerors. Cooper with the hit and kept in play. Cooper, wow! Very effective with the block, but it fell down out of bounds, and the Conquerors have tied the score at 13. Malia Meadows back at the line for Trinity Christian Academy. Good job by Torres Perez. 
him down, but kept the ball in play. Off the net, still alive. Here comes the hustle. Our official game ball is brought to us by Wilson Sporting Goods. The Wilson is the official ball provider of the Florida High School State Championships. Wilson has an unwavering commitment to the game and their dedication and drive fuels the game on high school courts and in professional stadiums nationwide. Wilson, way what the pros play. And we're getting ready to resume here in game number one. We're about halfway through. A little more than halfway, actually, as the Conquerors lead for the first time tonight, 14 to 13. Remember, this is the district final. Trinity Christian Academy looking for just their second district championship in school history. 1998 was the last time the Conquerors won a district volleyball, but they were in 1A at the time, so this is the first shot at a 4A title here in district number two. Meadows with a good serve. And the Stallions well defended. And the keeper. Off the top and out of bounds for the Conquest lead by two. Fifteen to thirteen. Now the Conquerors lead. And Meadows heading back to the line. She scored a few points for her team. Season. Conquers have scored over 95% of the time she has served, but not that time as that one goes into the net. Stallions trail by one, and they have Kristen Castleman at the line. Ramirez with the dive, Cooper with a kill! It is good! Conquers lead by two, 16 to 14. A large contingent of Trinity Christian Academy students on the stage once again. And the Stallions have brought a terrific crowd across town themselves. And a good block. Could not tell who that was. Looked like Oliver. And a good job by Castleman to dig it off the court. Out of bounds. Get the point. Get the point. Providence. School of Jacksonville, 2701 Hodges Boulevard on the south side of town. We're glad they're here tonight. Again, they brought a large number of fans. So it's loud and it's rocking here at Trinity Gymnasium. Cooper, first by Kelly. Camera Kelly right there to feel that. Terrific hit by Hannah Cooper a moment ago. And out of bounds. And the Conquerors get the point. Chloe Stack is just missing that back line. The Conquerors with their biggest lead of the night. 18 to 14. Pistol Car with the serve. And a point back to Providence. So it's 18 to 15, and a substitution. Checking in for the first time tonight, number two sophomore, Caroline Crawley. Senior Courtney Kerwin heads to the server's line for Providence. And a good serve by Crawley. And he calls four hits on the Conquerors. So it's a two-point game once again. Check that. Courtney Kerwin serving for Providence. <laughs> Kerwin with 15 aces coming into tonight's match. Conquerors at 19. 
Terrific hit by Megan Oliver. 76th kill of the season for that young sophomore. And Alexis Zoller back at the line. by Cameron Kelly. Yeah, that's pull the Stallions back to within two. 19 to 17. Number one, Sydney Perez serving for Providence. Yeah. Yeah. So just inbound. Jennifer Torres Perez gives the Conquerors a three-point lead. They're the first team to hit 20. And number 25 points is game. Three games wins the match. Number seven, Reagan Robles, a junior stallion, checks back in. Hannah Cooper with the serve. Nice job by Kerwin to get it back. But this hit is out of bounds. So the Conquerors lead it 21 to 17. Seventeen Conquerors need just four more points to win. Good, good sports programs need good officials, and you can stay connected to interscholastic competition by becoming an FHSAA contest official. There's a need for officials at all levels and all sports. You can help fill those needs, and we invite you to join the thousands of men and women in the FHSAA Contest Officials Program who play vital roles in the integrity of interscholastic competition. If you're interested, contact the FHSAA office in Gainesville or visit the official website at becomeanofficial.org. Stallions are back on the court, and the Conquerors are headed back as well. Hannah Cooper serving. Conquerors need four more points to win game one. They lead 21 to 17. Hannah Cooper with 61 aces before tonight's match began. Off the net, and on to the floor, and a point for the Conquerors. As long as it goes over, it is still in play. Cooper with the save. Jennifer Torres to Rose. Terrific job by that senior, one of five. And Hannah Cooper, the team captain, back at the line. Nice job by Cooper on the dive to keep it alive. Combo, Anita Davis, and Cameron Kelly. So the Stallions pick up the point. 23 to 18. Stallions trying to catch up, trailing by five. Number nine. Check that. Number eight, Anita Davis serving. And a whistle, a point for the Stallions on a double hit call. And it's 23 to 19. Davis with another serve. Cooper with the kill attempt. Off the stallion. Kept alive by Kerwin and a terrific play by Reagan Robles over the back from a long way off. Back near the baseline. Conqueror's got the point, but credit Reagan Robles with a terrific over-the-head shot just a moment before. Now the Conqueror's need just one more, 24 to 19, and Jangalaz Ramirez with the serve. Crowd. 